Alright, so this video title is um, How Porn Addiction Destroys Your Brain or and Why You Must Fix It Immediately. Um, just finished watching that video and um, it's, I think it's supposed to be some yoga master or something like that. And I mean, I get what he's saying. And he's saying basically that if you, if you keep watching the porn so much, you get addicted to it. You start, um, it starts damaging some type of receptors in your brain. And then you start needing more and more of it. Like you gotta watch more hardcore porn in order to get aroused and stimulated. And then it leads towards addiction because then you just, uh, you know, you just you just you have to keep watching more and more of it, and and then the fet it can lead towards certain fetishes or something like that, where it says something like your your brain is not designed to like to be able to look at like thirty different women or more like within an hour or something like that, and it's something where it doesn't process it all the right way, and then starts damaging certain receptors and then um, it leads people towards like not enjoying like more basic things as much so basically you have to keep watching the hardcore porn and then regular porn or whatnot is not good enough so it's saying um, like the simple pleasures and in, in and sensuality is not going to really be good enough anymore. And I could understand that. So I could I could kind of agree to what the guy was saying. I mean, you can watch the video yourself. I'll put the link in the description section of this video. Um, but there is the other side to it. One person left a comment, which I also agree with. He, he claimed he was a scientist. And he's saying that this video is garbage. It's bullshit. Because, you know, the... They used to, the Indian teachers back then used to promote sexuality towards spiritual growth. Um, that some people do need sexuality towards spiritual growth and not everybody is just going to be the type that's just going to refrain from it. And he brought up like that they, they used to promote the Tantra and the Kama Sutra and a lot of the yoga masters were promoting sexual expression as a way of spiritual growth. And I agree to that as well. You know, I just think that there's truth to both sides to it. Everybody is different. Some people can refrain from watching porn or masturbating or, or refraining from sex and still achieve um, spiritual enlightenment and growth. But then there are people that are very physical and they need a lot of affection and they need to express their sexuality, you know, either through... Uh, you know, masturbation or through um, intimacy in order to achieve spiritual growth as well. So I do understand and see both sides. I thought that video was interesting and in what it said. Um, but what I do notice as well is that <clears throat> the problem is when you're watching porn, it it's pretty much like when you don't watch it and then you're you know you're sexual you end up in that that motivation to connect with another human another female or whatever the case may be and express that intimate side with her but if you watch porn a lot and then you already are you know sexually you know released or whatever and you're satisfied then the motivation is not as strong and then you're not putting as much effort to try to meet like a real person you're, you're being dependent on the machine of porn the videos opposed to connecting with another human and I think that's one of the major issues with porn that um, is very self-evident it's kind of like somebody who um, needs food he has motivation to eat but instead of eating like real organic food 
he eats like plastic food or, or, or some supplements or something that, that's not even nourishing for the body, but it's like pretty much like fake food. And then he loses his appetite for real food. And I think that's what the problem is with porn. It's like your, your energies have been, um, you know, pretty much, it's already been put into something that's fake. And then now you don't got energy for something that's real. And out of everything, I think that's one of the biggest problems. Um, intimacy, I feel, should be shared with the, the right person. And it's not easy to find the right person. It could take years or decades or a lifetime. And because you can't find the right person, it's easy to just kind of um, depend on porn and use a machine instead um, to try to satisfy those deep urges or those that inner desire to, to find the right person. Because you, all you gotta do is turn on the computer and go on the internet. It doesn't really take much effort. Um, you could get access to thousands of um, pornographic images and videos uh, within a matter of minutes. Just get a hold of the technology. But to find the right person to be with, it doesn't come so easy. So I think a lot of people, um, you know, they don't want to put in the effort to to look for the right partner. Um, but at the same time, a lot of a lot of it is lost. I mean, um, you just cannot fall in love with the machine. You know, the, you know, there's no emotions there. There's no intimacy there. There's there's really nothing there. You know, the machine can't um, you know it can't it can't kiss you back or hug you back or um, basically fulfill what a, what a human would be able to do. So it's it's Porn, you know, look at all the senses, you know, there's five senses. Porn is um, giving you the sense of the visual and maybe the, the audible, maybe. Um, but it's missing the other sense receptors, you know. Um, and that makes it just two of the five, you know, of the, the total experience that intimacy can bring. So that's already sh indicating that maybe, um, you know, just 40% compared to the 100%. So if you get to something that's 100% pure, like real intimacy, then the 30% or the 40% is just not going to be comparable to the 100%. So when you when you meet with somebody, you connect with somebody, and you experience something completely real, it's going to be much easier to drop the addiction to pornography because now you have a hundred percent of something pure, and then the unpure, the impure, is no longer necessary. You know, so it's just like bring it back to the food situation. You're eating like really, really good food like 100% real food then the fake food you don't really need it anymore you know now you know your your energy has been put into eating real food and that has satisfied your hunger and you don't need the fake food anymore so um, I think porn I'm not gonna say to completely stop watching it I mean if, if that's what you want to do then fine but at, but at the same time just pay attention, close attention to realizing that, that that's not what's real and that you should still put forth effort towards uh, finding and connecting with what's real. And when you do connect with what's real, then dropping the pornography should happen on its own. Um, I, should, I would also say to also experiment. You know, if you watch porn all the time already, then try to experiment with yourself and see how your life would be without watching it for a period of time. Maybe like three months, six months, or even a year to see the difference of how you feel and how your mind and your brain will react to that and um, how your energies might change. 
and compare like okay am I happier watching this or am I happier not watching this um, but I can guarantee you you know you meet the right person um, you're gonna be happier with that partner than you ever will be you know watching porn um, and things like that you know I can tell you that for sure um, once again I said you know you get to something completely real the unreal just there's no comparison anymore but when you don't encounter what's real then the unreal may seem to be um, it, it may seem to be good enough for that moment so it's similar to the food once again um, you eat you know you eat junk food it's better than no food because you get at least something but if you eat like really healthy food, really good food, then the junk food seems to be disgusting. And it might make you even throw up before you even see it and make your stomach turn. You know, or like, just, just remember getting food poisoning, how that made you feel. Um, that, 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 that can make you feel, you know, every time you see that food again, you could, you know, it'll make you feel like sick inside. You know, so, like, the real is what we should always be going after. And porn, obviously, clearly is not real. You know, you got porn stars that um, might have passed away like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and then, you know, you're still watching their videos and you're still masturbating to, to, to images and videos of somebody that doesn't even exist anymore. You know, they're in the cemetery right now. They're still masturbating to their videos. I mean, it's clearly not real. I mean, it's it's um, a machine, you know, and we should always strive towards the real. Not everybody's gonna be able to find it, but that's where the key, you know, to, you know, that's where truth is, it's the real. So we should always put effort towards that. And if for some reason porn takes away your motivation to find the real then I would say that's a problem you know but if you're watching porn and you still are very motivated motivated to connect with the real then it, 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 can, it can basically you know it may not be such a problem you know so it may bring it back to the food situation you eat healthy and then sometimes you eat unhealthy eat some junk food okay fine you know that's that's your body um, but if you never eat healthy, all you eat is junk, it's gonna tear you down. It's gonna tear down your body and everything. And that might be the same with porn, you know, you don't ever look for the real, you don't care for the real, and then you just keep getting addicted to watching the porn. Uh, mentally, you know, uh, you're, as far as your brain is concerned, as far as your body is concerned, it can start breaking you down, just like being addicted to alcohol or something like that, where, it's not just one drink that you need to get a buzz. Now you gotta drink like 10 of them to get a, a buzz. You know, like the porn is just, um, another thing is it can train you to, to be attracted to something that's not real anymore. Like you, you need uh, every woman, a woman has to be like completely perfect to even arouse you just a little bit because you're comparing them to images that don't even exist. And that, that's a problem in itself as well. If then you start holding women to certain standards that are not even uh, achievable. You know what I mean? Like, you expect them to look, you want them to look fake. You're not even happy with how a woman really looks. You want them to look fake because you've been watching, looking at images your whole life and you're comparing them to an image. You're not even comparing them to anything that's real anymore. And that becomes a huge societal problem in itself. Um, so there, there can be a lot of problems associated with it. Um, but at the same time, I'm not gonna say to just completely disregard it and suppress it, but I'll say to try to understand it. You know, just understand that energy and um, once again, keep going towards the real, because I think, you know, that's that's going to be where the, the, the true happiness will, will come from. You know, porn will not 
make you truly satisfied and happy. If it did, then there'd be a lot more happy people out there in this world. But it, but it's not. That's not what it, where it is. You know, you, people need the real. They need real love. They re, they need a real connection. You know, with um, with another human being, not not with the computer screen. You know, so. But that's that's all I gotta say. You wanna add anything? I love what you shared.